that's really sweet. Yeah, that's also joy. Yeah, that's um, yeah, one of the yeah, it's okay. Maybe that one. What does it mean? Yeah, yeah, funny or broad, but for me to mention is yeah, because it's here. Yeah, so that's also joy. kabisa kutoka shule ile ya Great Grace Academy maeneo ya Mosocho na tumeia kwamba e, umeshika mai dakika uweze ku ama uweze kuwapata moja kwa moja kutoka maeneo haya na pia usije ukasahau ya kwamba eh, wana mengi wana mengi ambayo wana, wanataka waweze kutuambia sisi siku hii ya leo ndani ya 102.0 FM ni Radio Vuna 102.0 FM eh, wana smile tu wana wakicheka siji kama kuna kauovu uoga lakini naona wako tu kabisa vizuri lakini mwanzo tukianza pale nataka ndiye mwalimu mkuu wa shule ile ambaye ndiye bwana Davis Okongo aweze kutupa introduction ama aweze kutuambia Greater Grace Academy ni nani eh Greater Grace Academy ni nani hasa wamekuja kufanya nini hapa Radio Vuna 102.0 FM siku ya leo siku ya Jumapili katika kipindi cha watoto ambacho ni sifu na vuna na usisahau ya kwamba tuko pale uh, YouTube kama Vuna TV wala ambao wanataka kutufuata kupitia uh, maeneo ama kupitia kupitia mtandaoni pale Vuna TV utatuona pale kuna yule ambaye anajiuliza yule mwalimu anaonekana vipi utamuona pale hao watoto wa Greater Grace Academy sura zao ni zipi ni watoto ambao wana nimekwambia wana meremeto wako vizuri zaidi utawaona pale zidi kutufuata moja kwa moja kupitia maeneo yale lakini mwanzo kabisa nimekwambia nataka mwalimu mkuu ambaye ni bwana Davis Okongo aweze kutujulisha haswa Grace uh, Greater Grace Academy ni nani huyu na amekuja kufanya nini hapa studio ni karibu sana bwana David Okongo Asante sana Salome wa, wasikilizaji wote ham jambo natumai jumapili leo njema kabisa mahali mko mkobweri wa afya naitwa bwana Davis Okongo mwalimu mkuu wa shule ya msingi ya Greater Grace shule hii inapatikana maeneo ya hapo Kadolotunga eh, Nyabondo village Kadolotunga ni shule nzuri na leo hii tumeleta wanafunzi wetu hapa waweze kuweza kuonyesha zile talanta zao ambazo wako nazo maana shule hii wazungu wanasema we nurture talents we discover talents and nurture them so today we have come tumekuja wanafunzi wetu waweze kutuonyesha zile talanta walizonazo maana shule yetu kuzingatia ule msemo wa mzungu kwamba too much work without play makes jack a dull boy na leo hii tumewaleta nje waweze kuonyesha vipawa walivyo navyo kwa hivyo asante sana studio eh, salome kutualika mali hapa na sijakuja peke yangu kuja na walimu wenzangu naibu wa mwalimu mkuu bwana Moses Songwae kuna walimu andalizi kuna madam Vera kuna madam Leonida na madam Damaklim ndio vile pia tumetembea na mmoja wa kurugenzi wa shule yetu uh, madam Mary Kibai niko na fry kwa pamoja nasi siku ya leo kwa hivyo wasikilizaji wetu mahali popote mlipo hasa wanafunzi wote shule hii ni shule nzuri tutafanya vema kabisa wanafunzi wetu watakuwa kikuambia mengi kuhusu matokeo na jinsi shule yetu inaendelea kwa hivyo makanika mali ulipo ka steady wanafunzi leo watakujuza mengi kuhusu shule yetu na iwapo wewe ni mzazi watafuta shule karibu sana geta grace ni shule iliyobobea kimasomo na kila kitu jinsi wanafunzi watakwambia sina budi la kuongezea kwako mtangazaji salome asante yes, sana ndiye mwalimu mkubwa na davis okonga ameweza kuelezea aswa eh, great grace academy center ni nani hawa na aso umekuja kufanya nini hapa 
studio ni siku hii ya leo hapa Radio Vuna 102.0 FM nimewakaribisha nyote na najua watoto pale nyumbani pia nilikuwa nimewajulisha mapema wao wako tayari wako tayari zaidi na watawapiga maswali uende kwa watawatwanga maswali samue tayari kabisa ama sivyo okay watoto uende kwa wameniogopa kidogo lakini eh, niko sure kwamba wako tayari zaidi hivyo nimekwambia Eh, ni mpenzi msikilizaji ambaye na mtazamaji wa Vuna TV uzidi kututazama kupitia Vuna TV pia uzidi kutusikiza kupitia moja na mbili nukta sufuri FM tukileta zi, ama tukijitayarisha zaidi ama kuleta yale ambayo watoto wa Greater Grace Academy Center wameweza kujitayarisha wiki mzima na wambieni ni karibu sana lakini ningependa watoto wawili hivi kutoka kwa nyumbani waweze kukaribisha wenzao hapa studio ni kupitia 0704102102 nataka nione kama watoto pale nyumbani mnapenda wageni radio vuna radio vuna yes radio vuna nazungumza na nani yes kibe mhm Asante sana kibi mmekaribisha. Mkikaribisha mnasemaje? Asante. Asante. Nani mwingine wa mwisho ambaye atakaye karibisha wageni hapa studio ni kisha twende moja kwa moja kwa kila ambacho kimetuleta hapa. Radio Vuna. Hello. Yes Radio Vuna. Mhm. Mm Asante sana. Kila siku na Petika Grand Jackpot. Gambling can be addictive. Play responsibly. Not for persons under 18 years of age. This advert is authorized and regulated by the Betting Control and Licensing Board. License number BK281. Petika Jukwa Rama Bingwa. tunafanya vitu haraka haraka. Naam. Tunasema jina la kwako kumbio zaidi kisha baadaye tutaenda pale tuanze tujue shule ni shule ni nini. Karibuni sana. Mama jina ni Edna Keru. Uko darasa la ngapi? Niko katika darasa la saba. Kutoka shule ya Greater Grace Academic Center. Karibuni kwenye kipindi chetu cha sifa na vuna kwenye redio ya vuna. Kumajina ni Angela Mangara na wakaribisha kwenye shule ya msingi ya Greater Grace Academic Center. Karibuni kwenye kipindi cha Sifu na Vuna. Good morning. My name is Harit Mora. I like to um I'm in grade six. I'm from Greater Grace Academic Center. I, I welcome you to see from the program today. Thank 
My name is Angela Mangara and Edna Kerubu. And we are going to read about the school history about Greater Grace Academic Center. Welcome. Greater Grace Academic Center is a private primary school located in Yabondo Village in Bogeka Ward, close to Cardinal Otunga High School. The school is for boys and girls and it enrolls pupils from PP1 to grade 8. The school has a population of 150 students. Greater Grace Academic Center was started in 2011 by Mr. Joseph Matara as a sole operation to provide access to high quality education to qualifying children. He did this as a way of giving back to his community. His vision is for families in Kenya to achieve financial independence and achieve their God-given potential. At inception, the school started with only two rooms and two classes, that is class 4 and class 5. Over the years, it has grown to include grades PP1 to grade 8. Its first cohort of students that sat for Kenya Certificate of Primary Education, that is KCPE, in 2014, are now in their final year of university student studies. As years passed went by, the school operations expanded and the school is currently being run under Grace Initiative, which is a local non governmental organization. Grace is an acronym that stands for Global Response to African Children's Education. Grace Initiative's mission is to invest in the future of the poor and vulnerable children by providing them with quality education, basic health care, nutritional food, and equipping them with the skills needed for the jobs of the future. Over the years, the school has had a 100% passing rate and transition of learners joining high schools who had sat for their KCP. And in 2021, the school attained a high mean score of 359 marks. The school is built on strong Christian values which are our guiding principles and our focus is providing learners with the best opportunities available. Our school motto is reaching for the stars. Greater Grace believes there is more education than what is just taught in the class. We offer a wide variety of extracurricular activities and programs that cater to the varied interests of the learners that run throughout the each term in encouraging our children to explore a variety of different skills and hobbies which include sports. The school is active in games and sports. Recently, the learners participated in ball games where the school managed to reach, to reach the county level in volleyball. Clubs. We have a wide range of clubs that run throughout each time encouraging our children to explore a variety of different skills and hobbies. Some of the clubs are journalism, music, debates and jadala, health club, focke club, and science and math club. Some of the programs offered at Greater Grace include joint, joint educational and cross-cultural programs where learners get to interact with students from other countries like the United States of America, whereby they carry out reading and tutoring programs. Through this, the learners get to interact in a wide range of social groups and experience other cultures. A STEM center that has been established at Greater Grace Academic Center to promote STEM and nurture our learners' abilities Learners are benefit, benefiting from this program by and undertaking regular computer classes and STEM-related projects which are in line with the com, com, competence-based curriculum, that is CBC. 
A mentorship program whose aim is to nurture holistic learners, offer support and motivation, build social skills, increase self-esteem for the learners and provide positive role models for them. Besides gaining these skills, we look to eleve elevate academic performance among the learners. Alum alumni program where all graduates become members of the Grace family and have as access to inter in internship at Grace uh, initiative. We offer limited scholarships for deserving students. Under the scholarship program, Grace Initiative helps students apply for scholarship that enable them to proceed with their high school and university education. Some of the schools where our students have been admitted under the scholarship program are St. Mary's Girls Nakuru, Kamagambo Boys High School, St. Charles Longa Ijuni Girls High School, Nyabururu High School, Kabianga Boys High School, Chafakali Boys, Boys High School, Butere Girls, Naivasha Girls High School, Kadinotunga High School, Masinde Muliro University of Science and Technology. Greater Grace Academic Center is, prof is providing students with foundation for su success and equipping them with the skills needed for the jobs of the future. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Eh? That is so good. You have so you have so confidence in your school. Can you say it once again? No, if there were time. But thank you very much for informing us or telling us what is the history of your school. And hopefully, pale nyumbani kuna wala ambao na skiza zaidi Mwile msikilizaji ambaye anasikiza kupitia mia moja na mbili nukta sufuri ya femi. Mwile mtazamaji ambaye anatutazama kupitia vuna TV. Sasa hivi yako lako anangalia na sema na penda sare ya shule hiyo na hiyo history vile nimeisikia. Tazuma mtutu wangu watailekea pale. Amen. 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 sana. Next tuku pale tutaenda kwa poem na shairi. Nani yule ambaye atakaya tulekeza? Amen. Good morning. My name is Harriet Mora. I'm from Greater Grace Academic Center. I'm in grade 6, ready to present a poem. The title is Traditional Foods. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome. Have no worry about delicious foods. With traditional foods, all is good. The best food is traditional food with more nutrients than the rest. Have no worry about getting energy. Traditional foods will give me energy. With enough proteins and vitamins, I will be healthy and strong. Nutritious sweet potatoes, cassava, matoke, pumpkins, arrows, and yams. With less fat, less sugar, and no chemicals. They are delicious, appetizing, and nutritious. With them, obesity will not strike. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is a good one. Asante sana. Kwa majina ni Latika Shanis, ni natuwa kwenye shule ya msingi ya Greater Grace, niko darasa la saba. Leo ni chakariri shairi, lenye mada, ajizi nyumba ya nja. Karibuni. Ntumai chandugu ye, uja kufa maskini, katuana penda ye, kuwanaye ujirani, tukumbuke ya omba ye, daima unisoni. Ajizi mwana sikia, daima nyumba yanja Usingizi siyo mali, ya mkufanya kazi Sujiungi na awali, ya kusema ujiwezi Tena usiku ubali, kulalo kibarizi Ajizi mwana sikia, daima nyumba yanja Ukifanya ya ujizi, njita jaba Kwa sajapo viyazi, jamila lenja Kenda mie kizazi, tubaki tunashanga Ajizi mwana siki ya daima nyumba yanja Utavuna ulopanda, ilifamu mwanangu 
Kila una choki panda, juwane ka mama wengu Leo mbegu ya kopanda, kushuvune mma Kushuvune mma wengu Ajizi mwana siki ya daima nyumba yanja Kujenga Kenya yetu, lazima tujendae Tuzibi yote mlango, kizaji tukatae Tuziseme tutafanya, ili watu wa tuadae Ajizi mwana siki ya daima nyumba yanja Ajizi mwana siki ya daima nyumba yanja Hii medali natuka kwenye mstari Hii shari natuka kwenye medali kume mstari wane Karibuni. Asante sana, asante sana. Ito niyataka watu wajipigie makofi. Wanakuza uzuri wajipigie makofi. Maraki wajipigie kazi mbuli zaidi. Sidi. Asante sana. Natuwe ya kumba msikizaji ya mamtuta ambaya natusikize kutoka pale nyumbani ya meweza kujifunza. Wanasauti mzuri na wanapendeza kweli kweli. Nwale wipia ambao wanazidi kutufua tama kututizama kupitia Vuna TV. Pale natuwe ya kumba wameweza kufuraia. Manaki ya diya kisema bendera pale. Aliko na 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 bendera kipi perusha sivyo ni ni mzuri sana ni mfrai yana sante sana kwa walimu ambao na zidi ku kuafunza siku moja kwa nyingine Greater Grace Academic Center na shukuru sana kwa mda huu sasa tutapata baada ya tutaweza kupata ni kwa kipindi chetu cha pili tutawapata wanafunzi wengine najua kuna mtu mahali anajiuliza kweli eh kwani shule ina walisema pale ni shule ya wavulana na wasichana lakini wala ambao tumeweza kuwasikia ni kina nani wanadada peke yake na tumai ya kwamba wavulana wanakuja ama sivyo asanteni sana asanteni sana zidi kututizama kupitia Vuna TV na pia kutusikiza kutoka kupitia 102.0 FM kuna wala ambao wanatu tazama mwana wana tusikiza kupitia online www.radiovuna.co.ke wala ambao wako nji za nje pale nje ya kisi hapa na maeneo mengine ambao wezi kutupata kupitia semu hizo zingine ni karibu ni sana ya kumbuka ya kwamba tuko ndani ya Radio Vuna 102.0 FM kipindi hewani ni sifu na vuna ambacho kinaletwa kwako na Miss Salome Nyakundi. Asante sana kwa muda mfupi tutawapata ama tutapata kundi lingine. Nashukuru sana. Asante.
shwari kabisa eh wako sawa sambamba na ningependa tukianzia hapa tunasema ladies first eh tuanzie uweze kusema jina lako kwa darasa la ngapi na shule yako tafadhali kwa haraka sana my name is Rutmara I come from Gate Gate Academic Center I'm in grade 6 karibu sana good morning and my name is Shanta Kunema from Gate Gate Academic Center I'm in grade 4 Good morning. My name is Godfrey Akaki from Greta Grace Academic Center. I'm in, I'm in class 6. Mm, karibu ni sana. Oh. Kidogo alikuwa akarasha kuisha sahau wa kwanza. Karibu sana mwalimu. Ni walimu. Pia tuna walimu ambao wameza kuwapa support wa wanafunzi. Karibu ni sana walimu. Kwa studio zetu za 102.0 FM hapa Radio Vuna labda kwa haraka ningependa kupata jina la kwako thank you my name is madam nalida kirubu a teacher in grade, grade tagris academic center welcome to see vuna vuna program asante sana asante sana madam haya nashukuru pia kwa majina ni vera gesara kutoka grade tagris nami ndiye mwalimu wa anais mamia mchezo mule shuleni asante sana asante sana nyama anakaa tu eh mwanangu mzuri kidogo unaona anafanya zoezi zaidi karibu sana mwalimu haya asante ah langujina ni ngoi moses langujina ni ngoi moses ngoi moses ni naibu wa mwalimu mkuu pale shuleni pia nasaidia mwalimu leonida katika kukuraka eh, kuhakikisha ya kwamba mipango yote ya journalism club iko sawa Asante sana tuna mwalimu mwingine hapa. Eh mwalimu anaitwa kwa sawa kabisa. Hello. I'm Alfred Martin, teacher at Greater Grace. I'm in charge of drama and music. Welcome to Sifu Nafuna program. Thank you very much. Indeed she is a mwalimu wa drama kabisa. Ongea mara moja na confidence yote. Unataka usikupe na confidence ma mahala pale uwezi. Utaweza watoto lazima uwaonyeshe you have to be aggressive kwa kila ambacho wanaweza fanya nini wanakifanya sivyo no. karibuni tena kwa studio na tumeia kwamba pale nyumbani watoto wangu ama watoto wa sifu na muna pia wamekaribisha wakikaribisha ile ama kile kikundi cha kwanza nyote mlikaribishwa kwa pamoja na shukuru sana eh, kwa wakati huu naona mdo wetu naelewa ni dakika 53 na baada ya saa tano lakini tuko hapa tunazidi kujifunza mengi zaidi. Tuko pale tutaanzia pale kwa Bible trivia. Sijina ni yule ambaye atakayetuongoza asubuhi hii. Welcome again. My name is Ruth Mora. I'm from Gesa Grace Academic Center. As I said, I'm in the six and I'm going to ask six trivia questions. Thank you and welcome. Hope you enjoy. The first question is who was the prophet female in the bible mm-hmm. okay tutazidi kujua majibu eh majibu tutayapata pale lakini kwa sasa ningependa uweze kusoma ama utataka wenzako kuweza kukujibu ama utajibiwa kutoka pale nyumbani pale nyumbani natumia kwamba watoto pale nyumbani wataweza kukujibu namba ya studio ni 0704102107851020 unaweza andika ujumbe mfupi kwa 0706102102 uweze kutupa jibu hapa studio ni 
labda utarudia swali la kwako mami who was the female prophet in the bible who was the female prophet in the bible nani yule kutoka maeneo pale ama nyumbani ambaye atakaye tujibu asubuhi hii ya leo ili kaotende kwa next question kisha baadaye majibu yatakuja the second question is who was the female judge mentioned in the bible who was the female judge mentioned in the bible swali la tatu that question is who did abraham marry when he his wife sarah died who did abraham marry when his wife sarah died who foretold that jesus would bring salvation to the israelites when he was presented at the temple charudia swali la kwako mami who foretold that jesus would bring salvation to the Israelites when he was present, presented at the temple. Okay, so la la the fifth question is how old was Lamech when he died? How old was Lamech when he died? How old was Lamech when he died? Tutanzia pale swali letu la kwanza. Tutanzia swali letu la kwanza wanafunzi ama watoto ambao wanatupata kutoka maeneo pale nyumbani maeneo mbalimbali ningependa muweze kutupa majibu kwa haraka sana muweze kutupa majibu ili tuendelee kwa vizuri kuna mmoja ashajibu kupitia 0706102102 i think ninaweza uh, penda kukutumia uweze kurudia maswali wakituma majibu Kudia tafadhali swali la kwanza tu Who was the female prophet in the Bible? Who was the female prophet in the Bible? Mana watatuma tu majibu na wataweza kuzungumza hapa hewani lakini kwa sasa kuna yule ambaye ametuma majibu akisema ni Deborah. Good trial good trial hivyo hujapata hakikisha ya kwamba umepata jibu ama umeweza ku, ku, kutupa jibu ambalo ni ni jibu sahihi eh? na pia tunaweza saidiana hapa studio ni tukingoja wa, wale pale nyumbani wakitupigia simu kupitia 0704102102 kumbuka ya kwamba tuko na wanafunzi kutoka shule ya Great Grace Academic Center ambao wana wa, ni wanafunzi ambao ni wanafunzi ambao wanazidi kutufunza siku hii ya leo ndani ya kipindi chetu cha sifu na vuna na hapa wameweza kuuliza maswali tuko kwa Bible trivia ambao wameweza kuuliza maswali hapa na majibu tungependa muweza kutujibu kwa haraka sana uh, who was the prophet female that was mentioned in the bible was the female judge mentioned in the bible whom did Abraham na maswali watu wanatuma wanatuma zaidi kuna yule amesema the first question eh, okay ni prophet Jeremiah okay amejaribu natuma hiyo kwamba amejaribu ama hiyo yeye amesema ni first question but tuende ikawa sio acha tumpate huyu radio vuna hello yes radio vuna Yes Elijah. Yes. Alikuwa ni Debora. Swali namba 2 limejibiwa. Correct. Correct. Asante sana. Asante sana naweza kupata. Tunamwambia vipi? Congratulations. Congratulations. Tumpige makofi kidogo. Siku ile bodani sema sisi ni watu tuko na watu wa maji grace is in us msi <laughs> yeah ndam tuko kwa swali jingine who did abraham marry when his wife sarah died eh bbs abraham alipofariki nani mwingine nani ali alimoa nani alimoa eh hilo ndio na tu na naomba ya kwa msije mkapiga kwa 0706102102 hiyo namba si ya kupigwa hiyo namba ni ya kuandika ujumbe mfupi ili niweze kupata majibu yenu how old was lamek when he died 
tunazidi kuuliza maswali hapa na tungependa majibu prophet female in the bible hatujapata kuna swali number 4 sikupata vizuri zaidi ningependa urudie mami who foretold that jesus will bring salvation to the israelites when he was presented at the temple okay Nani yule atakayetupa majibu? Nani atatupa majibu 0704102102 eh? Bana watu msije mkawa hivi leo msije mkanyamaza wageni huenda wakashtuka wakashangaa. Kumba watu wazungumzange eh? Si hivyo. Hmm? Nikoshwa watu 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 uko na mas, mas, maswali na majibu. Kuna mwenye amesema ni Eli Elisha. Kuna jibu ambalo linakuja ni Elisha. Sijui kama tumepata na tumai ya kwamba huyu alikuwa anazungumzia. Sijui ni swali ama majibu namba 4. Good trial. Good trial but haujafika pale. Si hivyo sasa tumpate huyu radio vuna. Radio vuna. Okay, yemeza kukatika. Kuna yule ambaye ameza sema ni Abraham did not marry any wife when Sarah died. I don't know who na ngoja. Wewe ndo mwalimu. Radio vuna. Vuna radio. Radio vuna hello. Hello. Poa sana na zungu. Yes. Jibu lipi? Number 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 1. Nambari moja amesema ni Ruth. Anasema ni Ruth sijui kama amepata. The first question. Yes. Good trial. Good trial. Tutaenda kwa mkutasari wa habari kisha baadaye tutarejea hapa tuweze kujua ni majibu ya maswali ambayo tumeweza kuuliza wakati kama huu. Kumbuka ni sifu na vuna ambayo kipindi kilileta kwa kuna misalama na kundi na siku ya leo tuko na Uh, watoto kutoka shule ya Great Grace Academic Center usije ukaguse kidude tunarejea kwako Radio Kenya Professor George Magoho Serikali ya Kenya ilikuwa chukuru usiara rona kwa tukutira romoro bwa masomo CBC. Ka kwa na bwa gara chukuru ya sekondari ya Bukembe kutoka kaunti ya Bungoma, ikasaba ronde bwa nsura chuko bwa mwaziri wa chisemi kwa na kiomoro bwa yonko gandro le burunge. Bwa igwa basa bwa 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 likoba ira bwa na bwa bwa chukuru chirenga na sobo. kiyama kena kenya madha karuwa na bwego ya waipa kalozo msioka wa singerele buna mba cheko ligerele meroboli ya serikali ya nya na kwa jerege kia ala serikali ya juwe nga kira kwa lili mocho karuwa kawa kwa na bwego ya niga negatibu na na wanchila nira na machibu jeki gambero kwa lina tese negatibu buna mba abu yetu wa soba chuli ubo ni gubona tebele na cheko lenga gosengo gandara siki gamburu kia mocha afrika peli kuli ubo ya negoro yoko na chukwe kia negoro yoko chuli ubo kalonza sense mwaya jeniga bekiri mwaya sumerele buna ni aliga nete kubo mwangi wa serikali Asimia keta nirubosi wongu.
barai merongge bere korwa kinze au au ni go bara chewe kerena asogo tiani gua kule chimu mana kobe kura go toko morai gua somo chole William somo eroto umoni go yoni go ra kore kana sega tiga chuo suri eka serani me umo chono erobe juma ne terge kome ne sete keje kule gana nakaranche becho yoro mo 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 go tani gua kamite yoko robo yoko tani gua kwa eroto tebira wantu gua tani chiriwa merongge tano mo ni go baka gari eka sega tiga kyo. Mwanisho mwote kile wana ringe ndreto kwa wana kuruwa seme saitu ya mwana mwajia ya radio vuna wana 2.0 FM ma Mwogo sabo gende rada kwa tigere la radio vuna wana 2.0 FM mwili taliane Joseph Obuge Uyunoro mwelio wa mwana mwajia asinjira yobu yobu Kiyagi Umira na inti Margaret Mokwang kutia kila li tukura juma tatu kwa kayuma kutia kila chinsa isano ni chida ike merongi tatona isano no morobili yuno iru oliru chinsa kianda ni chida ike merongi tatona isano Ubure mi Umira na inti Anne Barongo kila li tukuria juma tatu kwa ikai juma kutia kila chinsa nyele nusu chia mambia kwa sambia mange igorona kito kumogani ya bore miwa ito ase chinsa mo au au Nasi umuru lumu ntugwe ngencho Umira na mwana nchi umina thoma sobuna Aiga ningo semi na gukumanyina Kwa lenta rama ya mange Iguru yomu ntugwe ngencho Nyiranga
The prophet female is Anna. Correct. Ameweza kupata. Ameweza kupata. Tunashukuru sana. Lakini ya jasema yeye ni nani. Kuna yula metaja maali. Isaac. Mkisiji kama kuna jibu. Ama kuna lile. Ukijibu tafatali tuambiwa yeye ni nani. Nani swali lipi ambalo nalijibu. Kuna yula nasema ni ketori. Kuna jibu ambalo lilikuwa likisema hivyo mami. Na hey, watoto wazuri sana hapa kabisa. Eh, kuna yule amesema nambari ya pili the judge is Deborah. Correct. Correct. Wow. Eh, kuna yule anaweza first question kuna mwingine wa pili pia amesema ni Anne. Amepata. Asante uh, sana. Okay. Kuna amesema for real. <laughs> kuna mwenye anasema sijui alikuwa anamaanisha nini so Kuna mwenye anasema nambari 5. How old was Lamech when he died? Okay. Sijui alikuwa anamaanisha nambari 4. Amesema ni Paul. Sijui kama tulikuwa na jibu kama hilo. La hatuna jibu kama hilo. Number 5 is uh, okay prophet Simon. Sili, okay, labda hamna hamna jibu kama hilo sivyo? Number 4. Hiyo ni number 4. Okay, sawa. Asante sana watoto wa Sifu na Vuno kutoka pale nyumbani wako ni watoto ambao ni wazuri. Tu pigie makofi pia eh. Na yule amesema Lame died at the age of 777. Correct. Wow. You see my children. I love my children so much. They will never fail me eh. <laughs> uh, from anasema um, ni ni Brian from uh, eh sijini he million star academy. I am in PP2. The first question answer is Sarah, Anna, Honda, Abigail. Okay. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, me jaribu pia, Sante, sana. Ameweza kujaribu zaidi, 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 zaidi. Natuwe ya kwamba tumeweza kupata majibu, ya. Abraham married and... 2, 4, 4, 14, and the third question is, who did Abraham marry when his wife Sarah died? And the question is, and the answer is, he married Keturah from the book of Genesis 25, verses 1. Mm -hmm. The fourth question is, who foretold that Jesus will bring salvation to the Israelites when he was presented at the temple? The question, the answer is, it was Simeon. From the book of Luke 2, verse 34. The fifth question is, how old was Lamech when he died? The answer is, he was 777 years from the book of Genesis 5, verse 31. Okay, correct. Thank you so much. Tunaenda kwa sehemu nyingine lakini nashukuru sana manake umeweza kupata mbali kwa short bible narrative who is leading us through nani yule atakaye tuongoza ni wewe karibu welcome once again and i'm going to tell you the story of 
Moses and the burning bush. One day, Moses went, went at the foot of Mount Sinai, Sinai to feed the sheep of his father-in-law Jethro. And then one of the sheep was standing closer. God told him that he should go to Egypt and save the Israelites who were being mistreated by the king of Egypt who was who was Pharaoh. Then he told God that he couldn't do it alone because he was a tamer. Then God told him that he would have an assistant who was his brother Aaron. Then Moses decided to go back home and tell his family about the news. Then he started the journey to Egypt. Then when he went he read in Egypt, when he told the king what brought him there, the king did not agree about Moses' plan. Then, then Moses threw his stick on the ground and it turned to a big snake. Then the king brought his magicians and the magicians threw their sticks on the ground and they became snakes also. Then the, the snakes started fighting. Then the big snake ate all the snakes of the king. Then the next plague was that that Moses will turn water into into blood. The next one was was frogs occupying the land of Egypt. The last but not least was all firstborns of the family of Egypt will die. So when the sons start, started dying, then that was the reason why the king of Egypt let go of the Israelites. Thank you and welcome. Thank you so much. This is so good. A good Bible narrative. I don't know if you have any other question. Yeah, it is good. Unaweza uliza. Unaweza kume kiti na sisi hapa na hindi kawa tujepata. Unaweza uliza swali. The question was, that was the last question was, who raped Dina? Wow. Who did so? Who did so? Students in the studio, who did so? Wanafunzi amba mkustudioni. Nani alifanya hivo? Shake him. Amepata? Good trial. Good trial. Wanafunzi amba mkopale nyumbani. Nani alifanya hizo? It's correct. It is correct. It's correct. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Missouri, sana. Tuko kwa tank twister. Nani yule atakaye tu tank twist na tuulize turudie na tushindwe. Atutoshindwe. Nani yule? Ni wewe? Karibu sana. said my name is Shadrack from Greater Grace Academy Center. Like I said, my name is Shadrack Nem from Greater Grace Academic Center. I am I am in grade four. Thank you to present to you at Twister. In a language. Welcome. On your chair or chair at home chair. Home chair go. Oganga, oga, oga choreka, ninjenga, 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 nata, 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 Mwa Kenya tuko. Onye mchero chore to mchero uga chore ka. Inche ni mo nta chore mchero chore ke mo mchero chore to mchero uga chore ka. Wow. Let's clap for us. We've done great job. You know. Now alone, madam. Madam Gera alone. Mwa Kenya amusing. Thank you.
kuwajaka madam. Mwana madam anatoroka kwa pamlango. Okay. Onye mochero chore to mochero ga chore ga nje ni ngonta choro mochero chore ke kuna mochera chore to mochero ga chore ga. ごめんなさい。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと
tumeweza kufanya yale ambayo yalituleta hapa kama wanafunzi kutoka shule ya Greater Grace Academic Center sivyo na tumeweza kufanya yale ambayo yaliweza kutuleta na nikushukuru sana e, kabla muondoke kwa niaba ya wote salimia wawili watatu hivi unajua kuna wale ambao wamekusikiza pale nyumbani e, wanasema tu e, na msikiza na hata hazini salimia unajua kuna watu wanaweza beef na wewe juu ya wagote kwa niaba ya wana Greater Grace Academic Center I like to greet our director at in America Yusuf I I like to greet our chief chef Divina and Helen and at school I like to greet Sagini James and our soldier Stella Wow eh you had to remember your chef that is so nice Nzuri sana Liana hakikisha tumbo yako iko sawa zaidi eh I call a great man so just Dela and my and my workers Divina and and Helen. Yes, so our son come security is tight in that school. I would like to greet my protector, my great man who is Stella, my teachers who teaches me, my parents, of course who made me to be here. Yes, that is good. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, eh? Walimu kwa haraka mnasalimia nyinyi tunawakatia. Nyinyi eh, salimia 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 watu wawili watatu hivi ili tuweze kumaliza kipindi chetu siku ya leo kabla tukaribishe. Mwalimu mkuu ili waweze kumalizia. Nashukuru kwa nafasi. Nami nachukua na fursa hii kuwasalimu walimu wenzangu, wanafunzi wenzangu kutoka wanafunzi wangu kutoka Greater Grace, wazazi wangu walioko huko Bonchari pamoja na dada zangu na kaka zangu watoto wangu vile vile na bwanangu husband ndiki nzuri sana swadakta swadakta nami vile nisema wali ni madam leonida ningependa kuwasalimia walimu wenzangu wote popote mlipo wafanyikazi wote wa greater grace academic center director yusu madam mary wazazi wangu milkista kemuma kuta wanyancha my husband is investor kwa kongo and my daughter valerie nyambeka Next. Nami pia ningependa salamu zangu ziwafikie kwanza kabisa babangu aliyeniza Alfayo akiwa pale Nyansira. Pili mume wangu aliye huko Msocho, wafanyikazi wenzangu pale Greta Grace na wazazi ambao wametupa watoto ambao tunafunza pale shuleni. Shukrani. Asante sana madam. Thank you so much for being a gentleman. Karibu. <laughs> nami pia nachukua nafasi kushukuru kwanza kipi, eh, program ya sifu na vuna asante na tunashukuru kwa sababu ulikubali kwamba tuwe kwenye kipindi chako cha leo ah mimi ni pia napenda kusalimia wale wote ambao wanatusikiza na kwenye wale ambao wanatutazama kwenye Luna TV ah wazazi wangu wangu ipita pale Matiako mama pale Jenny Kimto majirani Uh, pale ambako nilikuwa na shiriki leo kanisani mateko sector first department salamu za rafiki na watu wote wa eneo hilo uh, pale shuleni tuna wafanyakazi wenzangu tuna walimu wengine ambao wamekaa kipindi nyumbani pia wote ambao wanatusikiza na familia yangu watoto wangu na bibi ngawa kwa sasa Tumeshukuru sana manake nyinyi pia kama mungekubali eh hata mungewafunza watoto waje hapa studio ni sivyo sisi sote mkitushukuru tunawashukuru pia tunasema ni asante sana eh slogan yetu hapa radio vuna ni tusese nigwe kirenga ki so sote tusese nigwe kirenga ki Radio Vuna 102.0 FM tumekuwa na wana Greater Grace Academic Center ambao wameweza kutupa ama uh, kutupa presentations tofauti tofauti ambazo sisi tumeweza kuzifurahia sana. Asante sana mpenzi mtazamaji wa Vuna TV kwa kuzidi kutazama Vuna TV pia msikizaji wa 102.0 FM Radio Vuna kwa kuzidi kututegea kutoka maeneo mbalimbali. Ni asanteni sana. 
eh ya makundi ili likiondoka tutampata mwalimu mkuu waje hapa aweze kumalizia na kutupigia kwa hili lakini nashukuru sana asanteni sana na wale wote ambao wamehakikisha ya kwamba wana greater grace academic center wameweza kufika hapa na wameweza kumaliza program yao kwa njia mzuri ndani ya sifu na vuna na misalome nyakundi asanteni karibu Mm-hmm, did 
God is good. Vile nilivyo wambia mapema hatuja hatujamaliza. Tumemaliza lakini hatujamalizia kabisa kabisa kutoka shule ya Great Grace Academic Center. Niliomba kwamba mwalimu mkuu atakuja hapa kuzungumza na nashafika hapa na Madam Mary. She is Madam Mary or Madam Maria. Eh? Karibuni sana. I know for you. Amezungumza lakini Madam Mary hajaweza kuzungumza na watu wangependa kusikia sauti yake wala ambao wanazidi kutu tazama kupitia Vuna TV. Yeah, she is really beautiful. That is so nice. <laughs> na kuna wala ambao wanatupata kupitia 102.0 FM wanatusikiza zaidi. Karibuni sana tena. Thank you. You are welcome. Asante sana. Salome. E, wasikilizaji wetu nasema shukurani sana kwanza kwa kipindi msimamizi wa redio wa Radio Vuma, Vuna kutupa wakati huu mzuri kuja kwenye studio na wanafunzi wetu najua jambo la kwanza kabisa hao wanafunzi wamefurahia kabisa kwa hivyo nashukuru Brian aliyekuja shuleni tukaongea naye hatimaye akawezesha kupitia wasimamizi waandalizi wa kituo hiki na tumefika hapa hakika kama shule tunafuraha kabisa pili Ningependa kuwashukuru wazazi wangu wote wa pale Geta Grace wakiongozwa na PTA the Parent Teachers Association kongole kwenyu kwa kazi nzuri matupatia wanafunzi wazuri nasema ni asante sana alafu walimu wangu kuza mwalimu Ngwae Madam Vera Madam Dak Damak na Leonida asanteni sana kufanya kazi nzuri kuandaa wanafunzi hawa ilikuwa mara ya kwanza nasema ni asante maana mmejabaki nyuma mmefanya kazi hiyo bora kabisa na shukuru sana kabisa kwa hivyo Langu ni kuwashukuru wote mtangazaji um, wetu Salome pleasure meeting you and i know you have touched my girls one way or another when you go back to school you will be their role model thank you very much they will much. be looking unto you and i how i pray that day from this one day when you're off you can have a day session to come to down the school and meet the club members so that we inspire them how they can do study and eventually they come and work with you here i love pale msikilizaji labda uliza shule nzuri yenye walimu Mwenye maadili memo utaipata wapi? Shule hiyo yapatikana pale Geta Grace Academic Center. Ukienda pale Mosocho kabla hujafika eh, St Mary's Boys Primary School hapo juu kidogo tukipita St Mary's St Peter Soko Primary. Utaona kibandiko kimeandikwa Geta Grace. Hapo tunapatikana. Ukifika pale kuna interview zinaendelea pale shuleni. Tunafunza CBC, tuna STEM Center. And I may say this this is one of the best schools in Kisi, sub, eh, Kisi Central Sub County and Kisi at larger with the modern computer lab and STEM center. We are doing nice in our institution. And as a teacher, my heart, my heart and my arms are wide open to welcome you. We have hot snack at school. We give tea, 10 o'clock tea, very nice tea, very nice. Ile chai lipimwa ikatosheka cha nzuri kabisa. Tunapeana chakula kizuri pale sasaba na pia kuna gari la shule. Hiyo hapo natoka mbali unasema mimi natoka mbali nitafeja pale ah usikuwe na wasiwasi. Wewe fika on the ground. Sisi tupo site. Eh tupo site. Ukifika pale kwenye shule okay. mambo yatakuwa mazuri. Naona Salome anashaka kabisa anasema ananipea mwanafunzi mmoja. Asante Salome. Asante ah. sana. Thank you very much. Baadaye baadaye tutarejea kwa kuweza kutoka kwa umbi na Madam Mary Maria. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you Salome. Um, my name is uh, Mary Kibai, uh, the executive director of Grace Initiative. And uh, kwa ile historia ambayo tuliweza kupata uh, Grace Initiative ndio mesimami operations za shule uh, Greater Grace Academic Center. Uh, kwa Grace Initiative tuna program ambazo tunafanya na moja hapo ikiwa ni education, uh, ingine ni health na agriculture. Kwa hivyo kwa leo tuko under the education uh, program ambayo tumekuja na watoto wa, wa kutoka Greater Grace Academic Center at least to waje kuona no uh, to ku, ku express talents zao na ninafurahi sana uh, kwa wasikilizaji wetu kwa sababu kuona hawa watoto vile ambavyo wanaji express uh, the confidence they have it's on another level and i'm really proud kwa sababu uh, inaonesha kuna kazi njema ambayo inafanywa and we are really really happy i am happy to see them uh, go that uh, take that uh, direction and grow that uh, you know ex uh, go that uh, they yeah, grow the extra mile. Thank so you. I am I am proud of them. I am proud to be associated with Grace Initiative and Greater Grace Academic Center. And I'm grateful to Radio Vuna, uh, to the listeners, to the hosts. Ambao mmetupa fursa hii kweza kujumuika nanyi leo. 
and I'm um, seeing uh, like I'm studying this as said, Kwazile program zetu. Uh, Tume kuna ile moja ambayo tumesema ni mentorship ambayo mm -hmm. we are really taking a lot of uh, we've taken it upon ourselves kuweza kuongea na wale wanafunzi tunacha most of these students na wengi wanasema ukiuliza kila wanataka kufanya wanasema labda ningependa kuwa journalist mm -hmm. I think kuna kadhaa wamesema wanataka kuwa kama Salome mm -hmm. kwa hivyo tunakaribisha different uh, you know different uh, role models mm -hmm. watu ambao wako kwa different career paths waje pale waweze kuongea na wanafunzi waweze ambao kuwapa ile motisha waone you know uh, i can actually be a great person yeah, yeah. i can also be famous so yeah, yeah, yes sure. <laughs> yeah, one yeah. Of yeah. <laughs> the famous <laughs> actress yeah. Yeah. famous not famous. even an actress yeah, a famous, famous actress yeah. Yeah. Peter uh -huh. <laughs> wow yeah. yeah so i am really really happy and i'm grateful and uh, to our listeners thank you for taking the time na mnakaribishwa pale Greater Grace Academic Center. Um, kipata mo, mkitaka more information, just uh, take a walk there, Juni, spend the day with us, get to learn more about our programs. Ambazo tunazo, kwa sababu vile tumesema, si education peke yake. Yeah. We have so many things going yeah. on. Yeah. Yes. Thank you very much. Mimi ni kama mwezi kutuweze kumpa Bwana Davis. Yes. Rosa tena. Na ningependa usabiliwa mimi watatu ambao wanakusikiza. All right. Uh, kwa salamu zangu ningesema kwa kwanza kwa wanafunzi watu wa Greater Grace Academic Center uh, ninawapenda sana and uh, wazazi wote ambao wameweza kutuletea wanafunzi and the community at large ambapo Greater Grace ipo I am grateful to our supporters uh, all who support us the Friends of Grace Initiative uh, no po pokeni salamu zetu Thank you. Asante yeah. sana. Thank you very much, Madam Mary Maria. Yeah, I yeah. call you so. Welcome <laughs> back, Mr. Buena Davis. Asante kabisa. As you greet people first, as you finish. Ani salamia kwanza. Yeah, kabisa. Lafu uh, mimi ni manyewe, sisi ni watu wa salamu. Mimi ni muluya. Na salamia wali ya wata kwa pali vihika. Na salamia family yangu. My family ni vihiga. Uh, my mother feminist. My brother Patrick Oyondi. My sister-in-law, Phyllis Oyondi, uh, Kamea Judiciary. My wife Beatrice in Kisumu, my daughter Lindsay at Kavegas High School, my son Rogin, my son Dylan, and my son Emmanuel. As your father, I decree that the favor of God shall be upon you. I greet all my parents. I greet Edward, Edward, my good parent, and all the parents get to get, get school. May God bless you. Kabla ya somba nena futuombe, kuna kitu Maria Jasema, buni kwa rusa yake, is my director with authority and permission to send me this. Get a grace, we also partner and help other schools. We have got health program. We, we are working with the 10 schools. We have Ititi, Iranda, Soko, and Kunazangine, whereby we send out, I'm going to get an initiative. We are reaching out these girls, giving them dignity kits, the, the parts that we give to our students, mm -hmm. or the girl child. Mm -hmm. and we don't charge them anything, we, we, make, we give them, we give boys uh, the inner wares, we give them soap, we give them uh, futa. It's an annual activity. And then membership program. So I want to thank my director Joseph, who's in the States, and Mary is on the ground. May God bless you richly and even touch more donors who can come and touch the life of this child at Bogeka. Now, Drapo Malizia, Mskilizaji Mwenzangu, Ndakan Kutia Moyo, Kama Malim Kuwa Shule, I'm singing a getter dress. To make one of Chaguzi, no Meisha. Najoku na Wengina Tasaizi, or Tazami Runingazao, our Sony Magazetti. Labda mrengo wao ulishindwa na walikuwa na walikuwa na matarajio mengi sana. Wamevunjika moyo. Ninapotoka kwenye studio mchana wa leo ni ruhusu nikutie moyo na ningemuomba dada yangu Salome anisomee Mathayo 11:28 katika lugha ya Kigusi. Kizungu nasema come to me O lead that labor and heavy laden and I'll give you rest. Njooni kwangu nyinyi nyote na wale maana mizigo mizito Nami nita wapumuzisha. You said 11? 28. 11.28. It says, inasema, inchua sende ino mwensi, abu mwarusigo, semiru mimirito, na abu mwabune kirine chiguruwe, na inche ni mbati mukie. Asante sana. Musikilizaji wangu mchana wa leo. Yesu Kristo anakupa mwaliko. Anasema, njooni kwangu nyinyi nyote, Mnao lemeo na mizigo mizito na mito wapumuzisha. Why is he giving this call? He knows there's nobody who can help you. He knows your friends will turn you down. He knows your friends can let you down. That's why he's giving this special appeal and invitation. That come to me, 
only that labor and the village shall give you rest. I don't know today, the month of September, what's your burden? You have tried many places, this burden seems not to end. But this morning, Jesus is giving a critical call. Yesu anakuita mali ulipo, kwamba njoo kwake mwenyewe leo, nata kupumzisha. Lala ni mawazo mengi na kukera, hali ya uchumi, fia watoto, chakula na mengine yote. Mchana wale Yesu wanasema ni kwa mele pumalizia, njoo kwake Yesu, ata kusaidia. Funga tumachi wako mali ulipo, ni muambie buwana na jambele zako na mzigo huu. Name it by name, tell God this is, be specific, is giving you rest. I want to speak to the meal people, come to him, he will give you rest. Maybe you never won as you wanted. The other team, we, we, we wish him all the best. We, this is Kenya. We believe in the peace, and I want to thank God for peace in Kenya. So it does not, it does not matter which side you are. Jesus is telling you right now, come to me, come to me. Come to me, Morara. Come to me, everybody. Come to me, everybody, and Jesus is going to give you rest. So just close your eyes where you are and tell him, Jesus, give me rest. Mwambie buwana nipe tumaini, nipe pumuziko. Funga machu wako mali ulipo, nyeze kukombea. Baba wetu, kwa jina Yesu Kristo, nainua msikilizaji wangu na mweka mbele zako. Baba ona wanapitia changamoto nyingi sana. Hata wengine wamekosa tumaini. Wamekua kama mwanamuke Ruth katika Biblia. Alipo toka na muke wake elimelechi na watu wake wato alipo kufa. Haka kata shauri kwa mba rudi nyumbani na hata kasema. Musinite Ruth tena bali munite mara. Mara manisha uchungu. Mana maishika alikuwa ya machungu sana. Baba kuna msikilizazi ya nasikia sauti yangu mchana wa leo. Na maisha memusonga kuna changamoto. Baba ajui ataenda wapi juu ya kare oto wake juu ya chakula. Na mambo mengi mwenyezi mungu. Baba naomba ya kwamba ukamwezeshe. Akaweze kuinua macho yake atazame mulimani. Na juu ya kwamba msada wake ukatika wewe. Na ndiposa mchana wa leo unawaita kwa upole. Unasame ya kwamba njooni kwangu. Nini uoto na ulemeo na mzigo mzito. Na ulepumuzisha. Baba katika kenya hii kuna wala melewa na mzigo mzito. Awana amani. Naomba ya kwamba kwa waguze mahali walipo. Ukawape tumaini. Bariki walio wagonjwa. Walio mzigo ya ugonjwa buwana. Walio kosa karo na pesa wasalimu nyezi mungu. Nomba kwa jile ya msikilizaji huyu ya mekata tama. Ata na kikiasi ya kwamba jitie kitanzi. I break every curse of suicide in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every yoko king of glory upon every listener who is giving up for God. May they look unto you. You are the author and finisher of our faith. Lord, I committed your vuna unto you. How I pray the prayer of Jabeza that you will bless this, to this studio. You will extend their boundaries, O King of Glory. May you extend their waves in the name of Jesus Christ. I even pray for their TV station that they will get favor with the CCK King of Glory. And their frequency will be heard far and wide. I want to bless you because you are good God. Increase their finances. Bless every worker every morning. I become the studio. Keep watch over them. Be a good God unto them. None of them shall be one to King of Glory. You will supply all their needs according to our riches through Christ Jesus. Lord, we lie because you are good. Kenya before you. We bless you because you are good God. The peace we have, we want to thank you. We bless you and honor you. For this our prayer with thanksgiving. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Msikilizaji mungu kubareki sana, usikufe moyo. Njoo katika Yesu, natakupa ushindi. Asante sana. Tugadu tunazidi, ama tunazidi kutagia kipili cha sifu na vuna hadi mida ya saa. Tisa santeni sana. Salam, I manage the program. We will work with you. Okay, no problem. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.